Got him. Must have thrown it right onto his head. Big. Good God, what is that? That's not a bass. He came right up there and got it. What is going on, you guys? We are out here at Walmart. We did a little bargain bin shopping. Got too many. <laughs> the bargain bin. And it looks like it's all yum stuff. One particular bait we will settle on that I picked and one particular bait that Maddie picked out. We're gonna put them head to head to see who the best bargain shopper is. Whoever picked the bait that catches the most fish will be crowned the bargain bin champion. We got our baits. We're gonna get to our spot where we're gonna fish at and we'll show you what we picked out. We'll catch you guys on the water. So I know we said I would pick one bait and Maddie would pick one bait, but we ended up picking two that we both picked. These are what Maddie picked, these are what I picked, and the only choice of brand was Yum. I went with these. I've used a beaver style bait before, but never this small. And the only color they had was watermelon red, which is one of my favorite colors, so excited to use that. And I went with these, kind of like little baby brush hogs. I love brush hogs. It'll be good for mimicking a crawl and all that good stuff. So I'm thinking this is gonna be good. And they're my two options. This was the only color they had, by the way. Green pumpkin, black flakes, so. Okay, so I picked more of a stick type bait. And this one, I don't know if this is even supposed to be a real color. It looks like it's not. I, I could be wrong, I don't know. Never seen it before, but it's like a black with chartreuse different infused. But do you see, they're all different. That makes me think that this was a mistake. And it was in the bargain bin. That's where the mistakes go. Anyway, and then I got these ribbon tails. They're very um, American. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the 4th of July. It does look like the 4th of July, but they're, I don't know, I just picked these because they were pretty and they're super juicy. So I'm going to start with the black and the chartreuse. I think I'm going to start bit. with the little brush hog type of deal, and uh, we're going to see which one gets bit. So let's get them rigged up, and let's go find out. All right, so I'm going to start off with this. Maddie picked two worms, I picked two creature baits. There was a lot of yum baits in there, but most of it was just the same thing. And Maddie, um, she said something about that stick bait she saw. I know it's a stick bait, we use them all the time, but we've never even seen that color before. So I'm curious to see how it does. And we're just gonna be going with the standard Texas rig. All the things you want to mimic in a river. This should do a fine job of doing that. I'm gonna be using a pole I haven't used yet. This is the Code White by 13 Fish and spooled it up with some pretty pink braid. Um, I do, however, have a leader. So I'm not sure how these fish will feel about the pink braid, but I think it's pretty. Let's see what happens. Again, this is the first time ever using this pole, so I'll give you my thoughts on the pole too. It was kind of crunchy, not gonna lie. So we'll probably be letting Ray try this pole out here in a minute, see if she You'll likes like it. <laughs> see if she likes it. Feels like a Walmart pole. But hey, the person that gave this to us, I think they paid like, you can get it online for like $17 right now. I'm not sure if I'm even able to work this bait with this pole. We'll see. Yeah. I reckon it could get bit, but she feel cheap. Ugh, that is just disgusting. <laughs> yeah. That's as far as it'll go. Yeah, I didn't bring any other poles. Here, you cast it. I want you to try it. All right, guys, I switched rods with Maddie. She does not like this one. But my brother-in-law actually give it to us. I don't think he was a fan of it either. But hey, it's a free rod. That's terrible. I don't know if this is gonna work out for me. It's heavy too. This ain't gonna cut it. Only being able to cast out right there. It's like unusable. It's really heavy. It's gonna hurt my wrist. The worst combo I've ever used, I believe. To keep things fair, we decided to take turns with the bad rod. Yeah, that's as far as my mine will cast. It's horrible, horrible pole. All right, guys, we switched spots. We had a lot more people showing up over at that spot, which 
you know, it's perfectly fine. Just isn't a whole ton of room. We're gonna come over here and give them some space. I'm so super jealous right now. My pole won't cast. We're getting to use this pole now while Maddie uses the crappy pole. Ah, that's so good to be the cast. No excuse to not get a fish now. Uh-oh, we just got a bite. Take it. Fish number one, guys. Finally. Took long enough. He ain't big, but he's a fish. Just gonna get him right back in. There he goes. All right, fish number one. It's a little brush hulk. Dude is what got it done. This is probably gonna call it for today. But what we'll do, because I don't feel like this is a fair assessment, we're gonna come back out again. And in the end, we'll go over all the catches, including the one I just caught, and we'll see who chose the best baits. We will definitely be bringing a different rod, and that's another reason I don't think today was very fair. I love 13 Fishing, and I really do. It's a great company, but this, in my opinion, now some of y'all might have it and love it, and in no way am I trying to bash your favorite combo if this is it. But me personally, I can't stand it. So we're gonna come out again. See you guys tomorrow. Here we are with day number two on the budget bait fishing challenge. We have upped the stakes. You guys saw we were complaining about that rod yesterday. She felt cheap. Ugh, that is just disgusting. The worst combo I've ever used, I believe. And in all fairness, let me add, I checked the reviews on that rod and they're very high. People really like it. So maybe we have a defective one. I don't know. It's terrible. So whoever loses will have to catch a fish at the end of this video on that rod. But anyways, we're gonna get our stuff and get out here on the water and we'll catch you guys there. All right, I'm gonna start off with this. Come to find out, this is called Bumblebee Swirl. And I think it was discounted because not all of them have the chartreuse. But I'm gonna start off with this and see what happens. We're gonna start off with this little beaver bait. If I had that other pole, I'd be able to cast like right here, <laughs> you know? I'm getting a bite. Huh? I thought I was getting a bite. It might have been a bite, I don't know. Snoop your line. <laughs> if I have to use that pole, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's so terrible, I never wanna see its face again. Oh, I'm getting bit. I just got a heck of a bite. No freaking way. I swear. Well, that's a good sign to get a bite like that. Maybe they like this bait. I was kind of worried how it would go with large mouth. All right, you wanna move up? We're just gonna hit up this whole little section up to those like little orange buoy things you see. There's a little spot right here. Here we go. Uh-oh, I scared something, look. These are carp. Was that a carp? It would make sense. These gotta be carp, look. Scared me. Oh, my heart stopped. Yeah, that, that's a carp. They do that? What the heck? What's it doing? I don't know. I've never seen them do that. Must be trying to eat bugs or something. God, I hope it don't bite. I hope it does. Oh my God. Will that count? Yeah. I mean, no one said it had to be bass. It makes sense though with all this vegetation and stuff. That was a little baby. He was little, but he scared the shit out of me. I didn't know they jumped like that. Maybe he was spooked or something. Oh. Is that a butt? Yep. It's a little, guys. It's plucking. I'm getting bit. It's probably a carp. Don't say that. Oh, no, it's not. Dang. Let's try again. They're being jerks. No, that was a bass bite. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm getting bit. If he'll just take it. Come on, stay on, baby. Stay on. Fish number two for me, yes. 
Thank you, buddy. Ah, oh, and look at how he ate that. Choked it, but it's up in the roof of his mouth. So I'm gonna go grab the pliers and get it right out of him. What's he doing hanging out with all them carp? What are you doing hanging out with them carp? You are a bass. There we go. On the little, whatever, beaver style bait. Beautiful little fish. Look how fat. <laughs> Maddie, you look so mad. No, no, you're mad. Just don't have any fish yet. There he goes. Sweet fish number two. On the little beaver style bait. I'll find out the exact name of these baits. I don't think they were on the pack. It's just weird. Notice why they're in the bargain bin. All of that will be in the description. Let me go see if there's people up at the bridge. Look at this, somebody's like watercraft. Hopefully we don't uh, catch a person. But that's super creepy. Maddie is really competition for me right now with the types of bait she has for this color water. So we don't want to play around too much. All right, here we go. Take it. Too soon. This is a little bait though, so I don't want to wait too long for a fish to eat it, thinking it's a little fish, because if it's a big fish, it could really swallow it. I don't mind them choking it, but I don't like it when they swallow it. I feel like a little fish. That's a lot of what's around in there. There's some big ones in here too, do not get me wrong, but it's a lot of little fish. On our own again. It's a swamp on the other side. Oh God, pay attention. I'm gonna have to catch you guys when I get across here. There's one sketchy spot on the way to this next spot. All right, here comes the train. I'm coming back. Train's coming, so I gotta come back. I heard the track squeaking. I had to run, girl. All right, come with me. We're gonna walk up this way. Maddie wants to, um, I see that, so many waves. Got some bites, but they were all super tiny, I believe. They'd run off with it. And when I go to set the hook, I wouldn't get the fish. We're gonna keep walking until we find our next spot to fish at and um, catch you when we get there. Look at all this wood stuff. It's gotta be, gotta be uh, some largies in this area. This is a spot I didn't wanna be stuck on when that train came. But this little area, where we're gonna try out. I'm gonna keep going up, but I think I got a feeling right up here at these rocks. I'm gonna try to get the first cast in before Ray. Right here to this rock. All right, well, if you're going there, I guess I'm falling down here. You all right? Yeah. You know, just two sprained ankles. No, I guess this will have to do. If it ain't sketchy, it ain't worth it. Mother... What happened to you? Backlash. That sucks. The things I do to catch a fish. Oh, Maddie. Big. Good God, what is that? I don't know. I might need your help, girl. It's big. That's not a bass. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Why did he bite so aggressively? He's not bad. Why did he feel so big? The muck, yeah. Y'all, I thought it was a catfish. Well, fish number three, guys. We're gonna get her right back in ASAP. You felt like a jerk, pretty girl. All right, so I'm gonna give her a gentle pitch so that she gets past all this and gets back in safely. And there she goes. She took off as soon as she hit the water. I wouldn't even give it two pounds, to be honest with you, but it felt like a monster. You were dragging her in like it was a catfish. He buried me underneath so much stuff. I think I was pulling him up out of it and feeling the weight on of it all. Crazy, fun catch. I'm gonna walk up a little bit further, see something. Oh. 
I bent down to grab somebody's bait. I bent down to get somebody's bait and got a bite. Use some lizards. He came right up there and got it. This baby's pulling drag a little bit. This is a nice one. I can't believe I was able to flip that girl. <laughs> right in the roof of the mouth. Look at that. All right, guys, I'm gonna get this beautiful baby right back in. Beautiful fish. But this is a very steep embankment. So I'm gonna give her a gentle toss so that she gets back in okay. I would much rather give her like a gentle, proper release, but unfortunately for my safety and for her safety, this is gonna be what's best. There she goes. So we got her not retied because of the way I had to flip that fish. I know it probably doesn't look like much, but it's really steep right here and these rocks cause you to slip and slide. All right, see if we can get another. So far, this bait has been a really good find. That fish was hanging out right at those logs right there. She followed it out just a little bit as I was popping it. Came out and crushed it on a pop. Here's a swirl right here. Come on. Fish number, what is this, four? We're gonna get him right back in. I'm gonna give him a little pitch. And there he goes. Look, he come up into the bushes. All right, he's good, he took off. I'm gonna walk up here some more. Oh, got him. Must have thrown it right onto his head. <laughs> the smallest of the day. Number one on the board. The bass are here. Let's not do Ray. There's more. I'll just put it on the frog. Over here. Yeah, I caught it on my bait. Ooh, took it right out of his mouth. Yes, sir. Another tank. There we go. Thanks for playing, little buddy. That's two on the board. Bluegill size, but size don't matter. The fish does. Oh, that was a bite. Okay, some way did not catch a fish. What did I do? What, if I can fix that, it would be a miracle. Always oh, breaking a pole, have y'all noticed that yet? Did I just fix that? Y'all, that's the next level pro right there. It's starting to get dark. I'm gonna start heading back up this way, be closer to the car. And guys, we find these little spots like this where there's railroad tracks and stuff, but always want you to use common sense and safety. Don't fish somewhere where it's dangerous. We have plenty of space we can step down if we need to and get away from the tracks. So just be safe out there. Came off. Holy sh! That was a big one. Oh no! It don't look good. Watch you get a giant. Why am I holding your rod like we ain't in a competition? Got me holding your rod, waiting for you to get a fish. Ha! Huh. You're funny. Got one. He is so tiny, Maddie. Oh my goodness, you baby. If I had a fish tank, I would bring you home and keep you. Name you Gil. 
All right, I don't know what number fish this is, but we weren't going by size. We're going by numbers. So, I can promise you he's up there with being the cutest of the day. Thanks, baby. Mwah. There he goes. I think it's safe to say I'm not going to be using the 13 fish and combo to catch a fish. Sorry, Maddie. All right, you guys. So there was a clear winner. I just don't want to use that pole. We're going to wrap it up because it is about to throw down. Do you guys see the sky? It's about to storm on us. So we got to get out of here and hit the road. It's time for someone to get their punishment. Maddie made a good point. It could be the braid we put on here. This is a really cheap braid. I want to say it came from Timu. I'm not too Cast sure. Fine yeah, cast fine on everything else, so I'm not sure why it would be that. But, you know, we're going to rig some mono up on it. Of course, not today because we want it to be challenging. But we will rig mono up on it and make sure that it's not just this braid. If it is the braid and the mono cast fine, we'll probably donate it to a child or something but I'm not gonna do that to anyone as it is right now because that would turn anybody against fishing. Oh, and um, we got a special guest with us today. He doesn't really care to say hi. All he wants to do is sniff and pee, but this is Cheech. Come on, baby. First cast, come on. So I don't have to use this. I'm not sure if I'd even know if I got a bite. When I cast it, I feel like everything's gonna come flying off of it. Like, it just feels yeah, like it's gonna come here. apart. It is a two piece, so I mean, it could fall apart. I gave it all I got, and that's as far as it goes. Me and my boy right here, just watching Maddie struggle. <laughs> what do you think? I agree, I'd hate to use that pole too. They're jumping today. Then I can only get it out that far. That's a shave. That's like three feet off the bank. Oh, something just popped right there. <laughs> the sun has been so powerful lately. I, I mean, it feels like 100 degrees. It's just so hot. Miss Desperation. I'm using a trout magnet. Oh, what have you done? What have you done to yourself? Come here. <laughs> You're just gonna have to give it little pitches. Y'all, I am trying so hard not to laugh right now. <laughs> but she's trying to go for a panfish and this name will not cast at all. This is hilarious to me. Like, more hilarious than it should be. You can do this. Be nice to be a winner, because I'm out here getting sunburn on my arms while she sits in the shade like a princess so we just got to get one fish guys one fish we're showing no mercy today pick out better baits next time look at them popping out there just out of reach she going to the live worms now guys we got that for pan fish to get catfish bait pulling out all the tricks right here all because we can't get it out far enough with the smallmouth worm. I'm not losing the next challenge. This sucks. Come, you, you don't even want a live worm. That's a stick. Do you think there's really fish in there? Is she lying to us? Oh, oh. oh my God. All right, let me help her. Hold on, boy. Take your time. A large mouth? On a worm? On a worm. You did it. You did it, dude. Yeah. That's a freaking nice one, dude. The biggest fish of the whole video. <laughs> on the worst pole. Y'all look at this. I'm not even kidding. The tiniest little, it's a trout magnet hook. A half of a worm too, not even a whole worm. And that's a nice fish. I know. Let's go, Maddie. Challenge complete. Look at that bloody tail. We're gonna get her back in where she came from. That is crazy. How did it feel on that pole? I thought it was 
like a channel cat or something. It, it felt I did good. too. I came to help you because I was like, what? I wasn't expecting that. What you think, pup? Look. He's like, I couldn't care less. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. It's burning up. We've been out here for about an hour. I fished with uh, four three or four different baits. But I'm sunburned already, so we're going to pack up and just call it a day. Challenge complete. Catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.